Today is 25 years to the day since my dad passed away. He was a history and government professor. Absolutely loved teaching those subjects, loved people, conversation, kindness and respect and decency, even in disagreement. I was thinking about the state of the country today, and I was thinking about that in conjunction with not only today and thinking about my dad and his passing, but also thinking about relationships, romantic relationships. And I was thinking about America, and I was thinking how America is in a toxic relationship. There's so much jabbing, so many memes, so much um, condescension, so much hate talking over each other. It made me sad because it made me reflect on my own romantic relationships and also reflect on the kinds of communication that I've been seeing and that I've also been a part of here in, in the U.S. And I thought about my dad and I thought about how sad my dad would be about the state of the country right now. Because my dad, he was always okay with disagreement. He was always okay with Oh, you, you, you have this, this opinion about tax policy. He loved being able to have those conversations in such a way where it wasn't affecting the relationship. And I think that in America, just like how I was in my past relationship, like there's so much insecurity, unhealed trauma, self-loathing. Obviously, there's individuals, there's corporations, there's organizations that are culpable, that are spinning it, that are stirring it up, that are making money off of it. But individually, when we think about what can we all individually control, we can control what we say, we, control, we can control what we do, but more importantly, we can control how we say it. Like, that matters so much, and I remember how my dad would speak to people that were on the other side of the, the aisle, right? Had totally different views than him. And he knew that they had these different views. But the way they spoke to each other was with respect, kindness, love. They listened to each other. We want to be heard. We want to be validated. We want to be loved. We want to be seen. And there's like a real opportunity, even in the sadness. And I'm feeling it today, and I'm feeling it for my dad, because I miss him all the time, and I'm feeling it for our country. Like I'm really feeling it for our country. We can do better. And so I'm thinking about my dad today, and I think my dad would say, just do better. All right, I love you guys.